Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some pretty interesting perfumes. I asked you in a previous video, I have no idea which video it was, but I basically told you guys that I had some perfumes from Greece during the summertime. My parents were over in Greece visiting my family and I asked them to get me these perfumes because I basically grew up wearing this brand of perfumes or these brands because i have two separate brands to show you guys i basically grew up wearing them my cousins used to wear them so this is like my start into me being obsessed with perfumes i've always been obsessed with smelling good and perfumes and all of that like it's just always been like a little passion of mine but it didn't start to get like this bad until like a year ago or so when i first bought them i couldn't wait to share them and then once i went online to try to find these perfumes so that i could link them for you guys i could not find them anywhere and so then i was like maybe i shouldn't make this a video because what's the point of me showing you perfumes that you can't even buy but just today i got really curious about them and i actually found a website that has all of these fragrances and they are very affordable i love the packaging of these it's definitely changed a lot since when i used to wear them it's a little bit different now so i have basically five of these ones to show you and this brand is called bu and they all kind of have like different messages to them like different names which they say like right here if you kind of like twist them it'll say like a little message the whole kind of rundown of this brand is that they are inexpensive perfumes but they dupe a lot of high-end scents a lot of their scents are like original like just their own but they do do a lot of like inspired scents they don't say that they're inspired but they smell exactly like a lot of some really high-end brands and that's the case with some of these that i have here the website that i found these all on has all of the notes of these along with like a little description so at least i have something to kind of go off of when i explain these scents so that's the first brand that i'm going to talk about and then the second one which i also grew up with this brand made the perfume that basically was like the mother of all perfumes for me growing up which is a perfume that i've actually talked about on my channel a few times because it's a scent that i've always wanted to get my hands on but they don't make it anymore but i have found like a few said to be dupes of it and every time i find them i always buy them this brand is called see-through and they used to make one of my favorite perfumes which was called amethyst we're not even going to talk about it i used to love that scent when my parents were in greece i basically told my cousin to just get me like all of the bu perfumes that they had because i just i love these perfumes and i grew up with them so i wanted like a little nostalgic moment and i also really wanted to show them with you and now i finally can because they are all on a website this website i'm not sure if it's like a european website but they do ship to the us so if you're interested in any of these you can buy them from anywhere that you live i will be listing every single one of these below by the way this video is like not sponsored as i said these are scents that my parents just brought me over when they came back from their trip anyways with all that being said before we get into this video please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let me show you these perfumes okay, i'm gonna start off with this one so this one is called fairy secret if i made a perfume this is the name that i would name it like fairy secret is so cute and it basically says fairy secret choose to believe in a non-believers in a world f wait what i think it says choose to believe in a world of non-believers and the slogan of this brand it says in a world of sameness choose to be you which is why it's called be you and these are all eau de toilettes and each one of these retails for 1839 now if you live in greece i don't really know what other countries have these i know a lot of you guys that live in european countries have told me that you are familiar with this brand so let me know if you've seen these like in actual stores let me know how much they actually charge like in actual stores but on the website all of these are 1839 which is insane it's a very inexpensive price obviously and they open up like this and this is basically what the component the perfume looks like it kind of reminds me of like the axe packaging like the men's axe body sprays it kind of gives me that vibe a little bit but oh the scent smells so good so this right here is a dupe for the one and only baccarat rouge honestly this reminds me a lot more of like in the stars mixed with baccarat rouge because baccarat rouge has a lot of sweetness in it and in the stars has more of like a unisex vibe than baccarat rouge does even though baccarat rouge is like technically a unisex scent i feel like it has a lot of sweetness and i do personally find it very feminine 
but the sense of in the stars has a lot of like this cologne vibe to it it has like this really good musky scent and you guys know how in love i am with in the stars this is just the perfect scent to pair up with in the stars because i swear it smells exactly like it the reason why it kind of has that baccarat rouge vibe is because it has that same like amber green note which gives it like that really strange ozonic scent that's in baccarat rouge as well as in the stars but to me personally this leans a lot more in the in the stars realm than it does to baccarat rouge because it doesn't have as much of a sweetness that baccarat rouge has very secret has top notes of pear coconut and apple middle notes of peony and base notes of vanilla and praline i feel like those notes make this sound a lot more fruity and sweet than it is there's definitely a sweetness to it but if you guys know what in the stars smells like that's exactly what this smells like. And you wouldn't really say that in the stars smells fruity at all because it, it doesn't smell fruity. So I don't know. The, the notes in here don't really correspond with what this smells like in my opinion. But I mean, I love it nonetheless. So these perfumes are actually said to be deodorant body sprays. So although they say eau de toilette, technically the way that they're kind of advertised and even the way that they look, like I keep mentioning, they look like the Axe body sprays, which is like a deodorant body spray and that's exactly what these are but they're potent like they're a lot stronger than say a body spray they advertise this as being a 48 hour deodorant spray which i actually agree with because this stuff sticks to your skin like although it says eau de toilette treat this as like an eau de parfum and beyond because it really really sticks to the skin if you are a fan of in the stars this is all you need and for 18 bucks you can't go wrong the next scent is this one right here so this one is like a golden looking bottle and this one is called golden kiss so this is what golden kiss looks like all the components are the exact same the only thing that sets them apart is like the colors and then they say the name by the way these atomizers are top tier like so good look at this there's a lot of atomizers and they do this in expensive perfumes as well that literally will like spit at you. They're horrible. This one has like a really nice spray to it. So Golden Kiss is a dupe for Dior's J'adore. They smell identical to me. It's super fruity, but it has like that classy, beautiful, effortless woman kind of vibe that J'adore has. If you were wearing this, people would straight up think that you were wearing J'adore. Honestly, they smell identical to me. Like, there's nothing that I can not pick up in one that I pick up on the other. The top notes for this are said to be pear, apple, and bergamot with heart notes of jasmine, violet, and plum, and base notes of sandalwood, musk, and vanilla. I definitely can smell the pear and the apple and bergamot in the opening. Those are very true to it because it has like this really, really fresh fruity realistic not synthetic type of fruity opening the heart nose i definitely get like a hint of jasmine which i believe there's also jasmine in j'adore as well but it's like a really really pretty like super feminine womanly sexy but like effortlessly sexy type of vibe and then the base notes with the sandalwood musk and vanilla are also very very spot on i definitely get that like woody musky scent in the dry down it does kind of have a sweetness to it overall but it's more so like a fresh and fruity type of scent basically the exact same way that j'adore smells like so if you have been wanting to get like a spot on dupe to j'adore by dior and you don't want to pay that kind of money check out golden kiss from b the next one this is really really pretty pink packaging this is called absolute me this scent is so pretty this one is one of those that i don't know what this is a dupe of it just smells good i'm obsessed with the way that this smells this straight up smells like grease to me it smells like being in greece like summer vacations it's so pretty it's so girly it's like a sweet girly girl type of scent it's very creamy it's got like a caramel note in it the notes in here are mandarin apple and pear middle notes of violet freesia and sandalwood and base notes of caramel musk and ambergris if i could recommend any one of these scents it would probably be this one absolute me i feel like the color of this packaging is so true to what this smells like it smells like the color pink it's girly but it's not too girly it's like the perfect amount of everything you can kind of smell the fruitiness to it you can smell floral but not in like an obnoxious type of way it's just so so good it's not the most mature scent out there but oh my god i can so see this being like a highly complimented scent it just smells sweet and girly to me it's also like so romantic I literally just sit here and smell this i love 
this scent i need like 20 backups i may even have to get into this website and order some more of this they're only 1.7 fluid ounce which like i said they're very strong so you don't need to like drown in it but that scent is so good i just feel like i need more of it in my collection the next one this one is called heartbeat i haven't actually smelled these perfumes in a while they've literally been under my bed because i wasn't sure whether i was going to make this video or not and so i haven't actually used them so i almost forget what they smelled like oh this one is so pretty too oh my god all of these scents have like this musky vibe to them that is only something i, I can't really put it into words it's like this really good musky vibe though. Ah, oh, that just brings me back so many memories. I feel like I'm not even explaining any of these perfumes. I'm just like sitting here like being so nostalgic. The top notes of this are mandarin, apple, and pear with heart notes of violet, freesia, and sandalwood and base notes of caramel, musk, and ambergris. Is that the exact same notes as the last one? It says that it has the exact same notes as this pink one, but they smell different this one smells a lot more creamy and caramelly and just sweet this one is a little bit more musky and i oh, i love this grease in a bottle grease in a bottle they say that this is a floral fruity gourmand i don't really see this as being a gourmand it's sweet but i don't know it kind of opens up fruity fresh and then it does have sweetness to it but in like a musky like slightly musky type of way not really in a gourmand way heartbeat is kind of like what it sounds like it smells like the color red it smells so sexy and powerful i love it it's more so like on the fresher side but it's like that perfect amount of like sweet muskiness and in the last scent from what i remember this was my favorite but now that i'm like refreshing my mind on what all these other ones smelled like now i'm like they're all my favorite but from what i remember i really really like this one so this is the orange one this is called trendy <sighs> yes this is the best one this one is the muskiest of all of them it has like a slight powdery like almost baby powdery type of note and i'm not into powdery scents at all but a scent that i really enjoy that i have in my collection is gucci guilty and if you know anything about gucci guilty you know it's always been described as kind of like a baby powder type of scent but i don't really care because this is one of those baby powder scents that i make an exception for because i really like it i don't know there's something in here that is so sexy to me and i always wear it out for like date nights like a flirty sexy type of scent i really like it and that's what this one reminds me of because it has that same sort of baby powder note to it but it's like super musky at the same time and it really really reminds me of the scent i don't know if that was purposefully for it to be a dupe to this but it really reminds me of it i feel like i love this more so because i have so many memories attached to this type of scent i feel like back in the day they were making a lot of scents that smelled like this and the notes for trendy are mandarin orange aldehydes granny smith apple middle notes of lilac peony and rose and base notes of benzoin musk and sandalwood this one is the most unisex scent, I would say. It has like a really heavy, sa like not sandalwood, but like a, a really heavy musky scent, but not a type of musk that smells like B.O. It's a really good type of musk. So those are all of the B.U. fragrances that I have in this video. If I could rate them, it's honestly so hard. I would put these two in first place. So Absolute Me and Heartbeat. I love these two. And then I'd probably say Trendy. I, I like them all so much because they're all so different, but I don't know. I guess I would put Golden Kiss as last because you guys know I will pick the sweeter, like, nicely woody, musky scents over, like, the fresher type of scent. So I guess I would put Golden Kiss as last, which was the uh, J'adore dupe, but I love all of them. I know that I may be biased in saying that because I kind of basically grew up with those scents, so I don't know how you guys would feel if you were to try them, but I really, really love them, and I totally recommend them, especially for being $18. I think that 
don't know, it's worth a shot to try them out, especially because some of these are like really good dupes to some high end counterparts. And then the last scent that I'm going to talk about, again, I don't even remember what this smells like anymore because it's been so long that I've opened it and smelled it. But this one is called Joyful Revel. Now, this one is not on this website where I found all of the BU fragrances, but I did find it for you guys on eBay in case you were like really interested in this scent. I found it for $27.89, which honestly, especially because it's a 30 mil and this is a 30 mil, so this is all you would be getting for almost 30 bucks. I don't know if I totally recommend that. Like, don't get me wrong, this is a nice scent, but this kind of gives me like shampoo, body wash types of vibes. And although it's nice and it kind of reminds me of like Heartbeat or Trendy, which was the last one I reviewed, kind of is in that sort of like musky type of scent um, family. But this one's a little bit more soapy than those. So that's the only reason why like if you really, really wanted to try it, then yeah, go for it. But I feel like for 30 bucks, I'd rather recommend these ones that are 18 and smell way, way better than this one but i'm totally gonna get my use out of it because i still really like it and it still smells great to me and see-through does this thing they used to do it back in the day when i had the amethyst perfume by them where it has like these little like beads in it you guys can hear it on my mic i feel like that's something that's kind of like their signature they've always done it ever since they had their old perfumes back in the day that's my i guess review on joyful revel i feel like it's not even a review i don't really know how to describe it it's kind of soapy musky Smells kind of like a cologne kind of vibe, like giving me unisex vibes totally, but yeah, it smells more so like a shampoo body wash. Like if you like that type of vibe, you would like this, but I totally would recommend the BU fragrances over this so, yeah, one. Yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys that wanted to see this video enjoyed it because I know there was a lot of you. I don't know if a lot of people are going to watch this video, but I know that when I asked if you guys were interested in seeing this video, plenty of you guys said yes. Let me know which BU fragrances that you have had in the past because now that I discovered this website that has all the BU fragrances, I'm curious to maybe try out some other scents by them. So leave me your favorite favorite BU scents and let me know if you're interested in these like if you had no idea of this brand before if you are thinking about maybe getting any of these but that is it for me today please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and I will see you guys in my next video bye